Hey guys, how you doing? We are energy beings. Part two. Thanks for all the good response to the last one. I definitely think this is a really important topic, and it's definitely something that I'm personally really excited about. Um, something I enjoy studying and learning about. Today, I just want to bring up the idea of how your thoughts are energy, and they actually take up energy, just like it takes energy to exercise or to, you know go on a walk or to do something, it takes energy to think. And that's probably why so many spiritual practices and so many self-explorative practices really encourage a still mind and mindfulness, being very present with yourself. I've noticed when I'm able to just observe my thoughts instead of being all caught up in them, if they don't take so much energy. In fact, they don't really take much at all. Now you got to remember, your mind has a job, and its job is to think. Its job is to figure out. Its job is to, to create stories and create energy out of what you're experiencing. It's never going to stop doing that. Don't expect that you're going to, that, that it's, it's all about creating some sort of meditation where you're ne not thinking at all. In fact, it's really important to let your mind do its job. That's why you have it. That's why it's here. That's why it basically never stops doing what it's doing, because that's what it's here to do. But you are not your mind. You are not your thoughts. I can prove that to you right now by just inviting you to remember a time when you thought something and you're like, wait a minute, that wasn't me. <laughs> I don't think that. That happens all the time, I'm sure. Or if you, you get angry and then you say something mean about somebody and they're like, wait, gosh, I would never, I didn't mean to say that. Why did that happen? Because your, your mind is just going. And because you are identifying with it, you, you spoke as it. But you are not your thoughts. In fact, you are a few steps away from your thoughts. And you can see all the thoughts happening. You can just witness them. But when you're all up in your thoughts, it gets pretty hectic because you're like, oh, and then I'm thinking, what if they think of this about me? And if I said this thing, and they said... So what's the practice? How do we... How is this practical? How do we apply this to our lives? Well, there's a few different ways to do this. One way is a meditation that I enjoy practicing every so often, where I basically give myself a time, even if it's one minute, or five minutes, or ten minutes, and I make the rule that thoughts don't count. That's the rule. Thoughts don't count. Meaning, for those five minutes, any thoughts that do come up, they don't count. It's fine. They, they came up. That's okay. And if there's something important, then don't worry about it. They will, that thought will come up again after your five minutes. Believe me. I mean, that's why it's an important thought. It'll come up again. So to just give yourself that rule and really play the game and be like, for the next five minutes, none of my thoughts matter. And let's just see what happens. Let's just see what comes up. And when you can do that and know that you're safe in those five minutes, you're perfectly safe, okay? After those five minutes, you can go back to regular thinking and the stuff that came up, you're like, oh yeah, shit, I gotta do the laundry. That's fine. You, that's good to remember. That's why your mind is there doing its job. But just give yourself the space to, to see what happens, see what comes up, and realize, really practice that experience of, wow, all these thoughts are coming up, but they don't count right now. So they actually don't really have much power right now. Why do I give them so much power all those, all those other times? Another thought, or another practice, is... Um, Asking yourself, closing your eyes, and let's do this right now. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. And say to yourself in your head, just say, I wonder what it would feel like if after this very thought, I stopped thinking. Now I'll repeat that again. Take a deep breath. I wonder what it would feel like if after this very thought, I stopped thinking. Now, if you practice that enough, and if you're calm enough, and you take some deep breaths, you'll notice there's a space. You can actually feel like what, you can feel the feeling of the no thinking that happens between that thought and the next one. Um, it might take some practice. Sometimes you might say that, and immediately you just start thinking about other stuff. But when you cultivate that stillness, there is a stillness. Just like between my words, there's silence. Because if there wasn't silence... I would just be saying one long continuous word and you couldn't distinguish one word from the other. So that's happening with your thoughts as well. You just have to 
choose to practice that cultivation and that cultivating that stillness. And last but not least, um, back to you know your thoughts are energy and they're very important energy. Remind yourself that you are can are in control of what you're thinking. So right now, in your head, or in your thought energy field, it's not necessarily in your head, but uh, you know, just a phrase. But um, just say to yourself inside, say, "Hey, I'm saying this right now. I am choosing this thought. Try that. Hey, I'm saying this right now. I'm choosing this thought." Because I'm sure you've noticed that there'll be times when you're like, oh god, I'm gonna be late to work, and I'm gonna tell my boss all these things. I'm gonna, oh man, all this freaking traffic. Da, da, da. Are you choosing any of those thoughts? You're not. Would you choose them if you had the choice? Probably not. They're kind of a waste of time, and they just stress you out. What's the point? It's great to acknowledge that you're late for work, and that that's something you should probably do something about, and not do it again. But there's no need to just think and think and think about it and stress yourself out. So the more you can cultivate and remember and practice the idea that like you're in control there. I've been doing this for a couple of years now and I still catch myself sometimes being like, oh my god, what do they think about what I just said? I don't know. Are they going to do the thing? And it just goes off. But not for very long, thank goodness. Um, and it takes a lot of practice. But the main practice is me really practicing choosing thoughts, reminding this whole thing that's going on that I'm in control. Whatever the I is, I don't really care. I don't care if it's my ego or if it's divine consciousness or anything. I just like to know that I can choose my thoughts because my thoughts dictate my focus. They dictate what I'm experiencing. They dictate how I'm interpreting what I'm experiencing. I'm writing a book called How to Be Empowered by Everything. And the main component of the book really is reminding people that they have the power to choose what's happening. The same thing that could be happening, we could all witness the same thing, but different people give it a different meaning, they interpret it differently. And either they're reacting from like a victim mentality perhaps, or a fear-based mentality, and giving it a disempowering meaning, or they're responding to it from a conscious, still, mindful mentality, where you give it a meaning that makes it empowering and makes it a lesson and makes it something to learn and grow from. So let's try that. One more time, just say it in there. Hey, I'm choosing this thought. These are the thoughts I'm choosing to choose. Whatever it is you're, you want to say. You're in control. It will take practice. And it will start for a little bit. It'll get kind of like, you'll start give, you might give yourself a hard time and be like, shit, why can't I just think all the thoughts I want to think? Or God, why do these thoughts keep, just chill out, it's okay. It's, they're just thoughts. That's a big that's a big one too. They're just thoughts. Yes, thoughts are very powerful and they kind of dictate your entire life. But if you can take a step back from them, they're just thoughts. They're always going to keep happening. So get in the way. Get in your own way and get out of your own way. Get in your own way. Choose your own thoughts so you can get out of your way and let yourself just flow. I love you guys so much. There's a link down below. I'm doing a self-guidance uh, training program for 30 days where I'm going to teach you guys the depths, the, 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 the golden nuggets of everything that I know that has gotten me to a place where I absolutely love my life. I'm, I coach myself through any stress and any fear, and I love myself, and I love being alive. I wake up in the morning feeling fulfilled. Before I even do anything, I feel whole, and I... And I and this isn't weird. This can't. This needs to stop being like a, a unique thing, okay? So I want to teach you guys everything I know. I'm only taking about 30 or 40 people over the course of a month. So just click the link below, watch the video, give me your email if you're interested, and then that way I can email you when I actually have the whole program info out so you can see if you're really interested. Uh, it's going to be really, really fun. I hope this video uh, was supportive. We are energy beings. It's all energy. We can dictate what's going on. Did you remember the thing from yesterday? Just taking a deep breath. Do that 20 times a day and see how your day changes. I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me.